It's funny. I don't know if his ears were burning yesterday, but Jim Hobson was standing right there, Frank, and we were talking about Shepley, and he's like, this guy's got it all. Uh, yeah. Were you sitting, you were part of that conversation, were yeah. you? Yeah, I just followed him on Instagram, so. But you hadn't before? <laughs> he's got one more. No, I hadn't, I hadn't. I, my fault, my apologize. But no, he's, he's got it all. He's got the star quality, right? As a person, you clearly can see it, right? Just coming through the screen. Yeah, and here's the interesting thing about you, Frank. I mentioned drafted by Minnesota. You played in Europe for a long time. Played in North America Pro for a long time. When you look at a young guy like that, it doesn't matter if it's hockey, football, baseball, tennis. Doesn't matter. Um, you can just see talent, can't you? Absolutely. He's uh, that's the first time I met this guy or saw this guy, and he's got a lot of potential. That's for sure. Um, obviously, in the game, he's got it going on, and and then obviously in his uh, personal life, he's got it going on. Um, it's interesting. I when I was listening to him talk about. You know, the difference from games from NFL to CFL, same as hockey. When I went to Germany in the DL my first year, I just came from the AHL. Different game. In Europe, the bigger ranks. I had to adapt. But I think as athletes, you just do it. Because you're young, you're, you want to perform, and you just want to win and do the best you can. And he seems like he's the same type of guy. He'll be, he'll be phenomenal. Do you think too much is made out of that? And I'm talking about... European versus North American ice surfaces and yard off the ball in football. Because we honestly talk about it like it's rocket science. And to some people it is. But when you're the athlete, you just, like you say, you just kind of do it. Well, there's a difference. Like I said, when I first went there, we played in the smaller rink. So that's what you're used to. So when I went over there, I was trying to do my thing and skate hard and hit guys and play my game. It didn't work over there for first because they had a bigger rink and I... Literally couldn't catch the guys, and they, they're used to kind of sucking in, sucking in. You're skating hard to hit them. They dish the puck right by you, and you never could hit the people because they use the extra ice time or extra ice size for their advantage. But again, you pick it up quick, and you learn to adapt your game. I'm still thinking now about Dave Hunchak saying you scared the hell out of him. <laughs> How many guys did you scare? Did you take pride in scaring guys? You know what? I Like every athlete, I just wanted to win and be the best I could. I just had that desire to just want the puck everywhere on the ice, and I remember... That was my game. My talent was working very hard, being in great shape, and just hunt that puck down. And I remember dumping, I said to my players, dump the puck in my corner. I want to go in the corners and just go as hard as I can and take the body and get the puck. That was my game. And maybe I scared people, I'm not sure, but that's the way it goes. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Well, look up Frank's Hockey DB, by the way. That's the difference and why I asked Frank about looking at it, because I think we're the same age. Somebody, Dakota's age, he's so young. He's got everything in front of him. Like his Wikipedia page is short. It's 2018 New York Jets, 2019, or 2018 to now with the Riders. Frank's d- hockey DB is like this. What was your favorite stop? Your favorite home rink in pro hockey? That's a good question. Um, I'm the type of player that I really enjoyed everywhere I went. I went to, I've been to a lot of different countries. A lot of different cities. Um, I have favorites in every one of those places. Sheffield. England. Sheffield, yeah, England. you're a big uh, UK guy. Yeah, I had, right. a, I had a great time there. We um, had a phenomenal team, won the championship there, played there three years. The fans there were phenomenal. We were treated like gods in that city. And Sheffield's probably about a million people um, large. And we were so big, they were on TV, radio, newspaper every day. Every day. And we won. And we did well. And... I had a good reputation there as you know one of the fans' favorites, and I, I swear that I go grocery shopping on a day off, and I'd have a lineup of people ask for autographs. That was kind of a neat experience, but that's the way it was in Sheffield. But then, then I went to Hungary, for example, in, in, a, in a small city uh, near Budapest, and those fans were blue collar, not you know very poor city, but they treated us so good too. And you'd have coffee with the fans in the mall, just that kind of stuff. So. I think everywhere I played, I enjoyed it. Everywhere. From Dayton, Ohio, right to, to Hungary. Of course you would. Yeah. Didn't you play in Wichita for a while? No, I played in Dayton, Ohio. but uh, Dayton, was it? Maybe against Wichita. Against Wichita. Yeah. 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 I just remember, and we'll break here, but I was talking to one former pro guy who had played in Austin, Texas for quite a while, hockey. And I was just there. I came back and I said to him, man, you must have loved playing in Austin, Texas. And he goes, uh, well, when I got there the first year, I was traded at New Year's. We were in first place. We missed the playoffs. Owner had a houseboat. <laughs> we all partied on it. <laughs> he, they loved it for different reasons. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Frank was there for the hockey. <laughs> we'll be right back. Jim Lang coming up. We'll be talking some NFL too. 
and a sports update coming up on the other side of this break. It is episode 186 of Canada's only live morning sports talk show. We'll be right back on Facebook Live and listen live at rodpeterson.com. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media. 